Hi, this is Michelle from the Good Leaf Gourmet Tea Company, and today I'm just going to give you a basic lesson about tea. I'm going to talk about what tea is, what tea isn't, and the difference between different types of tea. So, the bottom line is, if it's technically going to be called tea, it has to come from the Camellia sinensis plant. Anything that doesn't come from that plant is not truly tea. Chamomile, peppermint, Rhoibus, all of those people call herbal teas. It's not technically tea. When we're talking about all the health and well being benefits of tea, we're talking about anything that comes from the Camellia sinensis plant. Now, that doesn't mean that there's just one kind of tea. If you think about wine, all wine comes from grapes, but there are so many different kinds of wine, it's a perfect metaphor for tea. So the basic different types of tea there are, are black tea, oolong tea, green tea, and white tea. And what makes the difference between those types of tea is the way the leaf is processed. Basically, what the tea makers do after they pluck the leaf of tea is they roll up the leaves, they dry the leaves, and they may or may not break the cell wall of the leaf so that the chemicals inside the tea leaf can be exposed to oxygen and that's called oxidation and the process of oxidation is just like if you took an apple and you sliced it and you watched it turn black that turning black is oxidation and that's what turns tea black so the basic difference between black tea and all of the other teas is whether the leaves are allowed to be oxidized by being exposed to oxygen. So, in a nutshell, and we're going to make this real simple, and I've got some little jars of tea here to look at. White tea is picked off the tea plant and simply left out to dry. Completely unprocessed, fluffy, still looks kind of white. Green tea is picked off the plant. The leaves are kind of rolled up and when they roll up the leaves it opens up that cell wall I was talking about and oxidation starts. In order to stop the leaves from oxidizing they have to heat it. So the leaves are either steamed or heated in a wok and then all dried out and that keeps it from oxidizing and gives it that bright green color just like if you steamed some broccoli it would be bright green that's what green tea is black tea is plucked messed with to open up the cell wall and then just left out and exposed to oxygen so that the leaves can turn dark and black and that exposure to oxygen and oxidation also changes the flavor of the teas and changes the chemical composition to some degree. So that's the difference between black tea and green tea. Now here's something exciting. Oolong tea is a tea that is partially oxidized. It's picked, it's messed with so the cell wall opens and it is allowed to partially oxidize. So it darkens a little bit and develops a different flavor profile and oolong teas tend to be really sophisticated and very yummy and there's a whole wide range of oolong teas. So that's the basic difference and you can see if you quickly EJ pan over these jars the tea makers tend to choose different ways to shape and roll the teas and in addition to just having white green oolong and black tea there are dozens of varieties dozens there are hundreds thousands of varieties within these broad categories then you can also blend teas flavor teas so that one camellia sinensis plant can offer about like a bazillion different kinds of tea thanks so much see you next time